Alright, well, now that she's gone and we didn't get detected, I don't know if we can be detected, I hope not. Okay. Who's in this room? I hope it's not that Sarah chick. Ah! Can you help me? Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me and I won't tell him. Help me and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. Well, I'm trying to fix it. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank God. Thank you. I'm Clementine. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since the way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. Yeah, we can be friends. I don't mind it. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Pinky swear. <laughs> this is gonna go all kinds of bad. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. A pinky swears forever. Until you die to a zombie. Neat. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. All right, so we have one final room. Glad to have met you, Sarah. Okay. You still need bandages. Yeah. Well, there's only one more room here, so let's hope no one's inside of it. Gotta be inside of, uh... Here! No! I figured it'd be in the wardrobe drawer, right? That's where I'd hide stuff. Ooh! Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Alright, so we got- we, we, we got everything we need. Go back to the shed. I'm not going to take it. I'm fucking get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright. So do I have to sneak all the way back down? I guess so. This should be fun. They stopped having their conversation in the kitchen, so... Time to sneak down the stairs. Fuck, I'm terrified of these people. That's it? Nothing? Alright. <laughs> Maybe I could listen one last time. Better her than not. You'd have done the same. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, well, fire on your rifle was, huh? <sighs> oh shit! We gotta go, we gotta go, 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 go! 
She's gonna go get a sweater or something. And I'm just gonna leave. <sighs> that was stressful. <laughs> Here's hoping that no zombies get into any of the places we're at. Do I have to choose the order in which I do all these things? Because, uh... This is gonna suck. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of responsibility, but... Throw on some hydrogen peroxide so it doesn't get infected. Okay. I hope you didn't spill that hydrogen peroxide. Now the fun part. Because that was kind of, you know, very important. It's not like it's gonna be remade. Alright, so we need to put on our Oh jeez. Oh no, we gotta sew it together. Oh, I have to actually put it in there, fuck. Alright. At least I didn't have to have, like, any kind of precision. <laughs> no. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. I was never informed of this. How did Krista show you? Oh, boy! Oh, God! Oh, God, no, no! I don't want to do this anymore! Oh, shit! You didn't even get the needle all the way through! Oh, no, no, oh, God! Oh, shit! God! Just keep going! Okay! Okay! We're good! Just keep going! You gotta do it like... Three, four more times? I'm not really sure. Just push it through! Oh! Where'd the hydrogen peroxide bottle go? I know that's kind of a random question, but... It's just gone. Go, go, go! Just push it all the way! Dude, fucking Clementine's a trooper! I wouldn't be doing this shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, alright. I think two more should be good. No! I think she jammed it in the wrong way. No, no. Okay, there we go. You know, I'll be honest, this dog bite's actually relatively smooth. In comparison to how bad it could have been. Okay. I think you should pour peroxide on it one more time. Just in case, but... That's not an option. Oh, fuck. How are we gonna hide this from them? We're gonna be like, okay, we live through the night. I also stole these supplies from you. Oh, god damn it. You know what? There's gonna be a zombie coming through this door. I don't want to do this. I can predict you, Telltale. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Kick the motherfucker! Take a hammer! Nope! Um, that's there's nothing there, but maybe I could use this. Ha ha! Bitch! Let go! That didn't work. That didn't work. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Kick the motherfucker! You predictable chuckle fucks! Okay, it's rig time! Come on! Okay! Yeah, an anchor, why not? Alright. 
Now we can successfully use the hammer. Pow! We're good. We're fantastic. Just keep on killing it. Should have covered up the damn door like I, I, I said we should. Holy shit. What the... How the hell did he get in here? Uh... As tough as nails. Are you alright? I'm still... not... bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Yeah! This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to- I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Tuh! Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Yes. Where's my option? Oh, I can't even say anything? What the fuck? It didn't let me get- it didn't give me an option! You hungry? Nothing. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Ah, <sighs> dicks. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt and you weren't helping. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. But we're best friends! I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Dude, she's younger than Sarah. You don't want your daughter to know what's going on out there? Jeez. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Mm. Nah, alright, just eat it. But I guess it could be that, yeah, Sarah might have... That's gonna leave one hell of a Autism spot. or something. It's ugly. Better than losing it. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Hmph. <laughs> I don't disagree with that. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. It didn't help. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. I was really hoping it would help. I miss Lee. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. 
We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I still think you guys could handle the situation better. Jeez. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Try to find my friend. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, you let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> so, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I I'll be honest. I tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents left and just never came back. Oh, there you go. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. Lee! He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I ran away, died trying to get me back. Yeah, this one. The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. Mm, Lee! I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Hey, I opened the trap door. That's a thing you should keep an eye out on. It's pretty easy. Oh, you're still here. Hey. Don't get an attitude with me, chick. You cheated on someone. I know your secret. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. I'm a little girl. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? Oh. Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. I won't tell. You should be nice to me. I'd just say that. I won't tell. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. <laughs> you got what you came here for. Now go. I should have told him to be nicer to me. <laughs> but I just want to, like, give her a moment to be like, Yeah, I know what's up, bitch. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Yeah, her she's mean. Worse than her bite. What's her problem? Yeah, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. I had a friend who had a baby in a world like How this. How far are these fish traps? 
It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yep. By that I mean taught proper. My friend taught me. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. But you didn't teach me about a rifle. I wish I could have followed up with that. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him and... Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. Oh, I boy. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Ugh. Leave Adults. Again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found <laughs> that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! That doesn't sound like a good- Hey, Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Oh. What the fuck happened here? Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Um, who's Carver? Ah, jeez. I wonder if Krista's among one of these dead bodies. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Okay, well, I can tell you that these guys were shot, and they're pretty fucking dead. Hopefully. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Okay. Well, let's go across the river then. Or talk to Nick. Hey, Nick. Can I help? I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk across the river then. Uh, or rub my face across the invisible barrier until I can. Fine, just look at the damn sandbar. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Nick's right. This doesn't look good. No, it don't. But one of these folks might still be alive. And they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? 
Keep a lookout on that tree line. Okay. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. <laughs> Look, just keep your head on straight. Oh, zombie! Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. no. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Fine. Let's see. There's this person. With the hat. Oh. He wasn't shot through the head, though. He might be... turning. I'm just saying. And this guy over here? Definitely gonna be, like, alive or something. I got a hammer. Just in case. Hey! My stuff! Oh shit, these were the guys that took my stuff. Uh oh. <coughs> you! <coughs> That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Water? You want my water? Ah, <coughs> uh, just give him the water, and if he responds. Properly, then maybe he'll, you know, he'll be able to tell us what's going on. Thank you. Ah! Ah! Pete! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Oh no, he legitimately got bit. Lurkers! About ammo! Oh, no, I gotta make a choice! You get your asses over here, both of you! Cover you. Well, we gotta... Get we gotta get help out, out here, hit, uh, the, the kid! Listen to me once? Yeah, and I so and I chose you. No, oh, don't give me this bullshit. Was that it? You motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four to five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. You were dead. Oh, and they give us a fucking, like, teaser at the end. It could be Kenny! It could be Krista! We don't even know, let's see. You and 93% of players chose to help Krista. You and 81% of the players killed the dog. You and 81% of players are Sarah's friend. I'm part of the norm in mainstream! Yeah! So that was that. Ah. <sighs> That... I chose Nick 
because he wasn't bit. Pete was bit. So there was nothing I could really do there. That's how come I, I, I chose uh, him. But are we really going to do this whole shit again? This whole shit again where, like, you choose someone and the other person gets mad about it? Because I already had enough of that in season one. With fucking Kenny getting mad that we went and, you know, tried to help his... Or forgetting that we tried to help his kid. Stupid. Probably it's either Krista or Kenny. It can't be anybody else because Lee was bit by a zombie legitimately. He, he was... Had a fever, he's gonna die from it. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's either Krister or Kenny. I would like it if it's Kenny, even though Kenny was a bit of a dick, but he kind of had like a, a little bit of an ambiguous death as well. So, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just can't escape. Nope, can't skip that. Uh, this, we're, we're, it's doing the whole like episodic release thing again, where like, you know, the rest of the episodes aren't gonna be out for a while. So, this has been episode one. And that was different, I suppose. I I feel like maybe it was a little bit shorter than a lot of the episodes, uh, all the other episodes, because like episode four of season one was pretty long. Like a good couple of hours, but this one was just more or less like straight up an hour. Yeah. That it, 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 it was alright. I just hope that in the future they actually do yeah, learn from their mistakes of season one. Because, hey, I don't like getting like a fucking choose between these two people and then being hated on because of it by one of the people in game. And I hope the people, like in the future, like the people from 400 Days or whatever, I hope they're a lot smarter than the fucking guys we're currently with. Just saying. Against the time struggle. So, yeah, I guess that's that. There's not really much else for me to do except sit here and listen to the music. Why didn't they give you a gun after you said you knew how to shoot? Well, they're not going to trust me with a gun. I mean, I probably could have tried, but I'm pretty sure... I have a feeling that Telltale's going to try and do the same thing they did with Season 1. I'm reading the chat now. Um, uh, I, I think that Telltale's going to do the thing they did with Season 1, where they... You know, the general decisions are going to be relatively the same. You know, you're never going to be able to get a gun. You're never going to be able to just stay inside the shed and wait it out. Anything like that. It's always going to be generally the same thing. It's like in season one. You know, you could choose to save either um, that one chick or, or Doug. And either way, one, they're both, like, later on in the story, they're going to get shot. And there's nothing you can do about it. I just hope that they don't do that with season two. Because then I'll have some grapes. Then I'll just have to be like, hey, no. What fuck? But I'm mad that that fucking dog attacked us. You know, like, it's one thing if the dog had attacked us from the get-go, but it attacked us after we were gonna give it some fucking beans. Are you serious? What a dick. Ah, well. So, that was that. I'm going to... See what happens with the menu? Nope, nothing. All right, so we can actually look at our choices from the main menu. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. So you can be like, ah, oh, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I killed the dog. Oh, yeah, I was friendly to Sarah. So wait, more people were... Wait, okay. So 20% of the people, or 19% of people, were not friendly with Sarah? What dicks? Oh, man. Oh well. So that's it. That is all for now. And in the future, when the other episodes come out, I will definitely do that. And in the future, I'll also probably play Wolf Among Us. Because that, that, there's going to be all that. So, thank you for watching. We're going to end off here.